welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and this is the next video tutorial on Microsoft Office 2010 or 2010. And we are uh, working with Microsoft Word right now. So uh, what I wanted to talk to you today about is the layout of the actual program itself. I know we talked last time about the different versions, and I hope that helped you out. Hope you was able to pick out the correct version and go out and buy yourself a copy of Microsoft Office 2010. So here, as you see, I have Microsoft Word open. And what I wanted to do is point out to you a couple different parts here so you understand uh, the terminology of the program when I'm talking to you about something. The first thing we're going to talk about is the File tab. Now, on 2007, or Word uh, 2007, this was actually a, a picture like the start button uh, on your uh, Microsoft Windows 7. So if you click this file uh, tab, this gives you everything under here now. A lot of people miss that, but it gives you the uh, save, save as, open, close, uh, info. You can get like permissions. And we'll, we'll look at each of these uh, items here in, in some future lessons. This basically is just a quick lesson to tell you uh, the different parts of uh, Microsoft Word here and how to kind of navigate around a little bit. Uh, recent is recent documents. New, naturally is new, anything new. And we'll look at that, how easy it is now to pick out a new template. Uh, something's going to get you started. Uh, print is just that. It'll actually uh, settle up so we can do some printing. And like I said, uh, send and uh, save and send, and we'll talk about that. There's some great new features in there. And uh, options. You know, there's a bunch of new options in here that uh, we will take a quick peek at. I don't want to get too in-depth with the options, but there's a couple cool things I have to show you. The next thing is what they call the quick access bar. That's up here at the top. A lot of people miss that quick access bar, but you can add things to that bar. Just by simply uh, clicking on this little pull-down menu and going to customize uh, quick access toolbar right here and you can add things to that uh, quick access toolbar like ordinarily the printer for whatever reason is not there I always add quick print so that way if I just need to print something I can just hit print right here really quickly um, I always like to have save on there because if you want to save the document just click that but we are going to talk about auto saving and how that works because like I said there's so much to this Microsoft Office package that people aren't using that um, it drives me crazy sometimes because we spend so much money for our software and then we never get the full rich experience of the software anyway. We never use it all. Um, and I don't think you'll ever use everything, but hopefully you're going to use some of these little quick tips I show you to make your day work day a little bit easier. Uh, then you have undo and redo. Um, we have some other stuff in here like print preview and grammar. So then there's more commands. So we can add even more, more, more commands to that quick toolbar. I would suggest keep the quick toolbar as clean as possible um, and then go back to that video I told you on uh, 42 Techno Man that tells you how to make that custom ribbon I uh, like this one up here the custom ribbon and we will look at that on one of the episodes here also I'll put it up just so we can go over that one more time we can see how that actually works so that's the quick access toolbar up here we have the title toolbar well, what does that mean you say Jack a title toolbar that's so you know what document you're working on. Now let's just do this here. We'll do a save as, and we're gonna give this document a name. Um, we'll say testing, and we'll hit save. Now right away up here in the title toolbar, uh, you can see that that now says uh, testing. So you can see how that works. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the ribbon bar. And that's right here. That's all these. So it's everything on a ribbon bar is right here. Uh, that's the home. Here's the insert. Page layout. The references. The mailing tab. Review. So we can go in here and do reviews. Views. And then obviously my new one that I created on my own. So that's the individual tabs are right here that link to the individual ribbons. And then we have groups. 
so there's groups under these that uh, do different things like here's the group for watermarks you can do different watermarks and we'll talk about that the page color is right here uh, so that's how that's all set up with groups on your tabs the last thing I wanted to bring up to you today is actually called the dialog box the dialog box are these right underneath it here if you can see these and there's other things you can do uh, with that individual grouping of commands and it's right here that's the dialog box as you can see if we go under page layout right here uh, we can click on this dialog box and it brings that page set up so that's how that works uh, we'll see if there's any more on here there's some over here too so we have those ones You have these for fonts, so there's more things you can do with fonts naturally, right? You can pick out fonts. And we'll look more at that and how to uh, format a document properly. There you go. So you have some under there. So there's different things we can do with these uh, extra dialog boxes. So this dialog box launcher is right here. So for right now, I think that's everything we're going to talk about. I just wanted to get you through some of these basic layouts of Microsoft Office 2010 and what the names of everything is and, and get you to try to understand it of how it's actually laid out and how it actually works. So I hope that helps you out. Um, and in the next lesson, we'll get more involved with a little bit more detail. Um, but I hope so far you're learning a little bit more and, you know, make it a little bit easier to get around Office 2010. Um, and 2007, if you have that, it also you'll notice it has the ribbon bar. Um, now there's new stuff that I'm showing you in 2010 that's not going to obviously work in 2007. So until next time, folks, you know, like I always tell everybody, keep clicking around and you're going to keep finding and experiencing new stuff all the time. So I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye for now.